everyone. Um, I wanted to do a special video for a couple reasons. One is we've had a bit of an uptick in um, subscribers, so welcome to all of you who are new. Um, I really appreciate you subscribing um, to our channel. Uh, another reason is that I, uh, I don't know if many of you know, but um, I have my own candle company. Um, they are uh, a different kind of candle. So they're, they're soy, they're 100% soy here, uh, sourced here in uh, the U.S., mostly uh, Pennsylvania. And I use only um, therapeutic grade, organic, 100% natural essential oils. So, uh, and cotton wicks, no metal in the wicks. The, my, my business is called Country View Chandlery, and I'll link that below. It's countryviewchandlery.com. Um, I'll, I'll put the link in the description for you so that you're able to get to it. Um, but the point of that is that um, I'm doing a giveaway and I'm actually really excited about doing this. I've been wanting to do this for a while and I thought, well, what better time than right now? Okay, so right now our candle um, sizes consist of um, 8 ounce, 4 ounce, a three and a three ounce. So, and I have two different style jars to choose from. So, one is the country jar. So, this is metal lid, country jar, glass, and uh, our own labels. That is, um, I, I love this jar. It's my personal favorite. So, that jar is the eight ounce and the three ounce, actually. So uh, those are the two that I have in this jar. The other jars that I have are these amber jars with the black lids. Hi. Hi. Ooh, food. <clears throat> All right. These jars. These are the amber jars. And um, same thing. These ones have a little thingy on it. But nice glass, good quality. Great quality, actually. Black lid. Um, so these are the amber jars. Now, these ones, the amber jars, are only 8 ounce and 4 ounce. So, um, yeah. So that's what you have to choose from. I actually don't have the 8 ounce down here with me. I just got, I grabbed the two 4 ounces. And, <clears throat> so basically, we have amber and 8 ounce and 4 ounce. We have the what's called the country jar in 8 ounce. Three ounce. I know it's kind of confusing, right? <laughs> oh, and four ounce. These are in four ounce too. Okay, so my typical label. I actually didn't bring a candle out here with me. Um, with my normal everyday year-round label, uh, it's it's similar to this, but it's got a bird and a little design. Um, <clears throat> but I'll show you a picture right here. And I've just designed the new label for uh, Halloween candles and fall candles. So this is the Halloween one. So the writing's different, as you can see, and there's a, a crow on here, a black crow. So it's it's simple, but you get that it's Halloween. So this is Halloween. And then I've done just a fall one with the same thing, but my typical uh, font and a maple leaf. So this is this is fall. They're not too far off from the, the regular label, and I did that on purpose because it's still our brand and we don't want it to be like insanely different than it normally looks. All right, so the giveaway. The giveaway I'm excited about. Um, that is going to be open to anybody. Okay, so how to enter the contest, I guess, uh, for the giveaway. So. You can choose whichever jar you want. You can choose the eight ounce, you can choose the four ounce, whatever you want, um, and any label you choose. So whichever one, and any scent you choose, which I'll put in the description what all my scents are right now and what's coming actually, because I have new Halloween and new fall scents that I am working on right now. So I'll put all that in the description. You can also go to my website, contributechannelry.com. And again, I'll put that in the description and uh, you can find a lot more information there. 
Okay, so the ways that you can enter to um, win one of these candles, and again, you can choose whatever size you want. You can choose the eight, the four, the three, whatever you want. Um, and all you have to do is, well, you're watching this video now, like this video, um, <clears throat> subscribe to our channel, share our channel, so with whatever um, social media you have, so Facebook or Instagram or whatever, uh, share it, and um, subscribe to our channel. So. Yeah, hit the subscribe button. So, because most of you who are watching aren't subscribed, and I still don't understand that. But, <laughs> but yeah, that's the truth. Most of you are not subscribed. So anyway, yeah, hit the subscribe button, and um, and then go over to our website, contributechannelry.com, and um, become a member. It's free. All you gotta do is put in your email address. That's it. And I will. That's when I post. So about sales and discounts, clearance new scents, anything like that, you'll get that in your email. So yeah, that's it. Like this video, subscribe to our channel, share our channel, and then head on over to countryviewchandlery.com and become a member. Speaking of members, look at this guy. He's the newest member of our Country View family. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? He is a two-year-old uh, Maltese, I think, and we got him last night, just sort of last minute. Somebody needed a new home for him, so we thought Bella could benefit from um, a companion, and he's used to other dogs, so he, um, I think he likes having a companion too, and he, he's awfully fond of the cat, <laughs> so yeah. So this actually is uh, Beast. We named him Beast. Can anybody guess why we named him Beast? I mean, other than it's it's incredibly ironic. But if you can guess why we named him Beast, tell me in the comments. Guys, I also make um, beeswax tapered candles. And I'm actually going to be making uh, other candles with beeswax as well. But right now, completely handmade, hand dipped, one dip at a time. <laughs> in pure beeswax um, so yeah I've got that I also make tarts so if you don't if you want the you know smell and uh, the scent of a candle without the flame <clears throat> I do make tarts for tart warmers um, those come in all the sizes I mean not the sizes the scents as the regular candles do the beeswax obviously is just beeswax there's no scent in that um, I'm trying to see everything I have here. Uh, wholesale, yeah. So anyway, if anybody is interested in, in just checking it out, feel free to head on over to our um, website. And we also do sell wholesale. So um, if you go on our, our um, website and you go over to more, go on to that and the first one that's gonna pop up in a drop down menu is wholesale so if you go ahead and go on there sign in or you have to become a member um, sign in and um, yeah you you can go ahead and order wholesale if you happen to have a shop I mean even if you don't have a shop you still could order wholesale as long as you just abide by the uh, the rules so yeah anyway go ahead and head on over guys and and see what you think <laughs> he's such a cutie what you doing beast Checking things out? Does he scare the, the chickens? He doesn't bark much, huh? Can I hold him? Yeah. Or I'm gonna run with him. Beast. Beast, what you doing? You go for a run? <laughs> he runs so cute. We had a heck of a storm yesterday. Well, mostly rain, which is awesome. We needed it so bad. So I have more tomatoes that I need to harvest. Not complaining. Guys, guys. Hey, we got a pepper turning orange. Look at that. Oh, it's really dirty. That's from all the rain kicking up. Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned because we might be going on a walk with the doggy. <laughs> Boy, these beets. I think these are the beets. 
those are the radishes. That rain really, I mean, it downpoured. You can see all the leaves. Although they like all of the water, these are filthy because of all the kick up of the dirt from the hard rain. And it's, I think, it's probably like weighing it down. I don't know. But they're still very healthy. All right, let's see if there's any more eggs in here and then free range these guys. <clears throat> I like to make sure they lay all their eggs first because I found one in the woods and I, I definitely don't want them laying eggs in the woods. You should see yeah, the All right, so I'm only letting the, the chickens out. I don't want the the um, turkeys or the ducks out. <laughs> take the dogs for a little walk. Nothing crazy, but just like around the block and see how they do. So far so good, right Em? Yeah. yeah. Bella's doing better. She's getting trained. Alright, uh, we are back. Not it's right there. Unplug it. Undo the the orange thing too. Woo! I almost stepped on my cantaloupe. Um, we're gonna cover up the pig poop right now because I can start to smell it and I don't like that. Uh, we are moving them later on today to this hole. Look at all that. Oh, they're gonna love it. Okay. Right in this corner. Oh, I got one on my pig. are up there tearing down trees trying to build I don't know their their fort I guess well I got a pretty good harvest today of tomatoes and now I'm just kind of going through and and trimming them down really I'm, I'm getting rid of the dead stuff and just pruning the tomatoes back from what I understand and I've got a hair stuck in my face here. Uh, from other people who are very successful with tomatoes, you just gotta prune back all the bottom stuff. So, and then take out all the suckers. Thank you, dear. Say hi. <laughs> I trimmed these back. You can see quite a bit of openings now underneath all these tomatoes. Where all that was, a bunch of dead foliage and a few tomatoes hidden that some fell, some I just harvested. But yeah, so these are looking good. Hopefully that will help them uh, along even farther. I took out any dead stuff, I took out any suckers that I saw. Uh, anything low, so nothing's touching the ground. Um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully I get quite a bit more tomatoes out of this season.